Hi Sagittarius, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your May 2016 general love and relationship reading. I want to emphasize this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person, but it is the general energy for many Sagittarius. So um, also check your rising or your moon sign because that could give you deeper insight or understanding into your situation. And um, I am also offering personalized readings linked to my website below. So without further ado, let's get started on your reading. Okay, so this first card, Sagittarius, is going to represent your energy, your hopes and your fears and your expectations for the month of May in regards to love. And the middle card is going to represent the current obstacle to overcome. And the third energy is going to represent the realization or the outcome. Okay, Sagittarius, so for your current or some of your current energies, um, we actually have the five of cups in reverse. And what this tells me is that a lot of you or some of you are actually at the point of you've walked away from a relationship. You, um, you have walked away from a relationship that was pretty tough for you to walk away from or a relationship ended that was pretty challenging. And it took a while to get over that. It, um, just the hurt of it, the pain of it. But I feel that many of you are now, uh, this month saying, you know what, enough is enough. I, you know, you can't just keep dwelling on this stuff forever. It's time to move on. It's time to let go, forgive and forget, uh, and, you know, start looking for the brighter side in life, basically. When it's in its upright position, it, this is a very sad person. I mean, so this tells me that some of you maybe in relationships were in a dark place for a while. Uh, you maybe had something or someone that just really emotionally brought you down and you were just having like a hard time getting over it and, and just feeling like it was hopeless as far as that relationship goes. But what this tells me is that many of you might be at that place now where you're finally ready to just, you know, you've done the healing work, you've done the grieving, the grieving process is over. And now you're about seeing what is left, you know, the two cups that are left and you're curious about, okay, what now that this door has shut and I'm finally willing to just let this stuff go, what is the future hold? What are the possibilities now? So in that sense, it's very positive Sagittarius. I feel that for the month of May, some of you might be actually looking for new partners. You might be, um, you know, kind of just testing the waters, dating, talking to new people. You're just not so caught up on whatever that past intense situation was, uh, because some of you have had hurt from that past situation, uh, grief, pain, disappointment, but you just realize that there's no point just focusing on it forever and that it's water under the bridge and that basically it's time to move on. It's time to move on. So I'm happy for you because, you know, <sighs> matters of the heart can be intense and, you know, when things don't work out, it can, you know, that kind of that dark cloud, but I feel like a lot of you are not staying stuck in that energy. You're, you're at the point where you're taking your power back, you're taking your control back and you're like, you know, I'm moving on. I'm, I'm seeing what, what the universe has for me now. Uh, it's just not worth it. So, so that's very, very positive. Um, as far as your fears go, I would say it relates to emotions because this is a cup. Uh, so it's related to the emotional aspect. I would say that you probably aren't really fond of the emotions that came with that territory and those grieving processes. So you probably are just, you're over that and you don't, you don't want to feel that way anymore. You don't want to feel negativity anymore. You don't want to feel sad about someone. You're just, like I said, it's a waste of time to you. 
So that would be your fear of the future. But your hope is basically that now that you've let go of whatever this past situation is, you still have two cups standing and you know that those hold new treasures for you. You know that that has new possibility, new people, new potential, and you want to know what those are. So your hopes and your expectations, I feel like, is a sense of adventure, a sense of uh, openness. You're clearing out the old so that the new can come forth. And I feel like you're curious. You're curious. Your adventurous spirit is coming back. It may not be in full force, but it's definitely stronger this month for many of you. So, so that's very exciting. As far as the obstacle, um, we have the nine of wands in reverse. And this is a fire energy, so I, I definitely feel like this is your energy. Um, I would say that this is pretty much connected to whatever, for some Sagittarius, whatever this emotional trauma, you know, or relationship or pain or grief that you went through. I mean, and, and I guess I have to address as well, you know, people that have been in a relationship, you could have been in a relationship and you guys went through something really rocky and really crazy. And you basically realize that just fighting constantly isn't going to get you anywhere. And so I do feel like some of you that have been in a relationship have moved past that, moved past the conflict stage. You're letting it go. You're forgiving and you're forgetting. So I just want to address that for those of you who are currently in relationships. So this would still apply. So the nine of wands in reverse basically means that either if you've been in a relationship that it's had some emotional, you know, disappointment or pain, or you've let go of a relationship that's had disappointment and pain and grief. Either way, this is the card of basically been through a battle, an emotional battle. You've had to fight. You've had to fight um, in whatever situation you were in, whether that's with a current partner or with a past, you know, lover. You, you, this card just shows that you're weary. You're kind of emotionally exhausted. And I mean, that kind of picks up on the energy of that. You just, you don't really want to feel those negative emotions anymore because you've already dealt with them. You felt a lot of intense stuff and you're over it. Um, I feel like even though you felt all those emotional intensities, your, your pride is still intact. And I feel that some of you may still kind of be on the defensive because you've had to do battle. And so some of you, not all, not all of you, this is a general reading, but some of you might just be the, the obstacle could be opening up your heart again, because it might feel hard to trust basically based on what you've been through or based on just like the emotional ringer that you've been through. It's like, uh, I just don't know if I can do that again. I don't know if I can trust anyone again. Um, you know, it's just the, this, this emotion here, these, this intensity is a little too close to home still, even though you've gotten over it, uh, it's still fresh. It's still fresh. And so this card is just saying that the obstacle is going to be that your defenses are probably going to be pretty high. And, and you might be kind of, some of you might be feeling alone. Like even though you've weathered the storm, you've weathered this journey. Some of you may have had to isolate just out of like self-preservation and maybe that's helped you just kind of doing your own thing, going solo, just so that you could kind of regain your composure. Um, because this card can also relate to withdrawing or isolating oneself. And so the obstacle is Sagittarius. You don't want to, you obviously, sometimes you need to do that, but you don't want to do it so much that, you know, you keep your heart closed completely from love and light and healing. Uh, you're basically trying to come out of this completely. I feel like and you've definitely done a lot of the work. You've definitely, you know, and that's, that's the beautiful thing about Sagittarius is that they bounce back pretty quickly from issues and problems. And they're always able to see the bright side of the situation. But for some of you, whatever this was, it was deep, man. It was really deep because I'm just, I mean, the energy of this card is like <laughs> sorrow, sadness, intense, emotional, like almost despair and depression. And, and that really goes against your nature. So for some of you, man, this relationship just was not good for you. It just, it did not help your, your mojo and your positive vibe. Um, and so you just might be, some of you might just be drained and the obstacle is going to be just to kind of have that faith and optimism, that natural buoyancy that you normally naturally have. 
uh, because the energy still might be a little guarded, a little defensive, like a little pride with ego and just wanting to isolate and just kind of be defensive to love, you know, kind of have almost like ready for attack, ready, ready to defend yourself, you know, because you've had to in the past, um, based on what you've been through. And what's crazy Sagittarius is like a lot of the love readings this whole month, they've all had some pretty challenging energy so far. I mean, up to your sign, I'm, I'm just like, whoa, you know, that song love is a battlefield. <laughs> it's true. I don't know if it's just the current energies or what, but, um, but overall, I do want to say that you, you know, you have, you are making a lot of progress. You have made a lot of progress. I feel that the majority of you are whatever this thing was with you and your current partner or a past partner that you've let go of, you've let go of the bulk of the problem and the issue. And you're no longer allowing that to kind of cloud your judgment or, you know, dictate your being. However, the obstacle is just, the obstacle is kind of clearing away the rest of any of that negativity that's left over. Some of it could be subconscious. So I guess just being aware, aware of your, you know, reactions and just giving yourself time because, you know, when we've been through a battle, um, you just have to kind of go at your own pace, do those things that make you feel good, that bring healing, that bring love, that bring light. And as far as the outcome, Sagittarius, we have the Prince of Wands in reverse. So another fire energy and the Prince of Wands, he is, he's a pretty active guy. He's on the move. He's on the go. He's, um, very charismatic, very charming. Um, so this just tells me that you are getting there. You know, you, um, there might be a little imbalance for some of you. I'm not going to say for all, but because you're, you might have just got, you know, to be honest, some of you might have just been pissed off. Like you've just, <laughs> your fire has been stoked and you're just a little angry because when it's in reverse, this card can be like, this guy kind of doesn't care. Like he's just going to live it up. He's not really, he doesn't want to be committed. He just wants to be free. He wants to kind of sow his oats. He wants to just do what he wants to do. And he can be a little reckless. So some of you, you know, might just kind of let go for a while and just, you're, you know, for the ones of you that have let go of like a really demanding, energetically demanding relationship, you might kind of go to the opposite end of the spectrum where you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't want anything that's demanding of my emotional energy. I'm just going to do my thing and I don't care. <laughs> so that might be the outcome for some of you. And obviously, you know, those energies have to be balanced as well. Um, and also because some of you I'm picking up on too, some of you, if you're in a current relationship, I'm not sure. I, I feel like some of you Sagittarius might be with a fire sign. So Aries, Sag or Leo, or some of you actually might have been with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Those are kind of the two energies that I'm being, that are being picked up. And there's obviously more, but that's kind of what's showing strongly here. So some of you may have had a partner that was actually pretty emotionally needy for you and demanding and, and you were really trying to help them or fix them, but they really didn't want to be fixed. Um, because this, this card in the middle here also kind of speaks of that, that a partner in the past that was causing you issues or even still is, is that you have kind of been the healer or the helper or the teacher. And um, they're just really demanding of your, your affections, your affirmations. And, and so I kind of see this card as almost like a rebellion of that. Like you've just, cause Sagittarius is a sign of, of freedom and you know, you can only take so much. So if you, if you have a partner that is currently, you know, just very emotionally demanding of you, you might kind of go the opposite way and rebel. And, you know, that might just be you subconsciously trying to push them away because it's just not working for you. But at the same time, you, you don't, you're not ready to cut off that relationship or whatever. So some of you might be with someone. And, and I think that it's just being aware of the relationship and the energies and what is it really making you happy? Because you definitely want to get out of this, this place. And a lot of you are, you're fighting for that or you already have, but um, the obstacle is going to be to continue to completely hundred percent cut those energies off. And if there's a relationship that's not, you know, helping or, or that person isn't working on themselves or fixing themselves as much as you're giving, 
and you're just giving, 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 and it's just draining you. Because I also, I feel a sense that some Sagittarius's are drained. They're physically drained. Like they need to rest. They need to recover their strength. They have been drained. And so, um, yeah, some Sagittarius's really just need to, to love themselves and, and work on healing themselves and cut out the things that aren't serving them and kind of regain some of their, their balance. So, um, and this is a general reading. So if this doesn't resonate with you, like I said, check out your moon or your rising. Um, and I'm also offering those, those personalized readings. So let's go ahead and get another message to see if we can get a little more insight. What is the healing message for Sagittarius in love and relationships for the month of May? Yep. Interesting. <laughs> Rest and reconsider is kind of what I was picking up on. Um, okay. So the message here is fatigue, perseverance, strength, and recharge. Sometimes the struggle to create and maintain harmonious and fulfilling relationships just seems like too much work. You put forth your best effort and give more than your share and you find that there are still issues to be dealt with. You're tired and at times you just want to give up. The message of this card is to persevere. You may have been disappointed or hurt in the past. Know that those past sorrows have made you stronger, even though you may not feel that way at the moment. This is a good time to briefly step away from any conflict or issues around love. Give yourself some space to relax and replenish your energies. Co continuous effort stresses the body and dulls the mind. You need to rest and reconsider your methods. Once you've recharged yourself, you will be stronger, clear headed and confident, ready to move forward once again with new ideas about how to improve your situation. So wow, Sagittarius, I mean, that's, that's exactly what I was picking up on. I mean, you, you're tired, <laughs> whatever. And you know, for some of you, you're just tired, exhausted. These relationships have been really demanding on you and maybe have kind of sucked out some of your natural joy and optimism, but don't worry, you know, you're easily recharged, but just listen to your intuition and listen to your heart and you will know what to do. So I really hope this has helped. If it has, I would so appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel to ensure that you get all the messages, tips, and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. Thank you again so much, Sagittarius, for watching. Have a great rest of your day.